hey welcome back to my channel in today's video i thought it would be fun to do a holiday glam makeup look for you guys so it's that time of year where there's a lot of holiday parties going on whether it's work holiday parties or with friends and family and holiday parties are just a fun time to like do a little bit more with your makeup and have some fun I was out doing some Christmas shopping this weekend and stopped by Sephora. I spent too much money, but we're not gonna talk about that. And I took a look at some of their gift items that they have, because during the holidays, I feel like Sephora always has cute little gift sets that you can get. And that's the time of year that I love to just try new things. So one of the things I did pick up was this super pretty lip color set. It's called Holiday Vibes and it has six different lip colors in it. So the makeup routine that I'm gonna do today, I'll try to do a neutral glam kind of eye and then try some of these lip colors to go with the makeup look. So that's gonna be fun. So if you're interested in seeing how these lip colors look, stick around. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right in with skincare. Um, since it's cold out and I've been experiencing a lot of dryness, I'm going to go for my Clarence Double Serum, which is super hydrating um, and just brings the glow back to my skin. And then just go in with my Everyday Moisturizer. Get this neck. All right, so now we're glowing. So waking the skin up a little bit. Mm, that brought me back, okay. And then since I'm doing um, a heavier eye look, I'm gonna use my Clarence, Clarence Multi Active U Eye Cream. And I just put a little bit of that on my ring finger. Okay. So now we're back, we're ready. Um, I like to start with brows. So I also picked up at Sephora um, Anastasia Brow Wiz Brow Pencil. So if you've seen my previous makeup tutorial. I used to use my MAC eyeshadow powder kit, um, but I wanted to try this out and see if I get something a little different, so. My niece swears by it, so. Ooh, this actually is really easy. I'm gonna just clean my eyebrows up a little bit with this LA Pro Concealer. And this is in the color Fawn. I also picked up a new NARS concealer. Everybody swears by this um, radiant creamy concealer. I picked up the color Walnut. And so first I'm going to just cover up some of my dark spots and blend that out before I do my foundation. Mouth. 
I do really enjoy this um, concealer. It's blending very well. And it's not too bright. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation in the color 420. I put a little on the back of my hand and then I like to warm it up. And I'm just using a fluffy elf brush. And I really do not like a lot of foundation. Now that the foundation is done, I'm gonna start on eyes. And I'm gonna start with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, which is just gonna give me a good base for my eyeshadow. To build a base for my eyeshadow look, I'm gonna start with my liner pencil. So this is Sephora eyeliner pencil. It's waterproof in the color Tiramisu. It's a dark brown, it's not black. So it's still giving you that depth without it being too harsh. And so I'm gonna just put that on my lash line and blend it out. It's going to help build that neutral, smoky eye look. Run that out a little bit. To kind of help shape the look. Give it a little more drama. And this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to build on it. Right. I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so for my eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with um, a new eyeshadow palette that I picked up from Sephora. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Snapshot. Snap Shadows Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. So this is just a palette full of some really pretty neutrals. I love neutrals. Uh, these two are a pretty little shimmery color. So I think I'm going to use this, that one, and that one. And maybe a little bit of that one to build my look. So I'm going to start with this dark plum almost color a burgundy plum and I'm going to build that on top of that lash line that eyeliner and then into the corner All right, next I'm going to go in with this lighter color. And I'm gonna put that right 
in here in, the, in our tear duct area. Okay, and then lastly, to bring in a little bit of holiday glam, I'm going to use this shimmery color right on the center of my lid. And I'm gonna put that on with my finger because I think that that's the best way to get the most color deposit when you're using a shimmery color. Next, we're going to go in with, um, I have this NARS little mini palette that I got. This is called the Unwrapped Mini Eyeshadow Palette, the Dolce Vita one. And I'm going to put this shimmery color in my tear duct just to have a little bit of extra pop. That's gonna be it for the eyes. I'm gonna come back and do a little um, a little shadow on the bottom, but first I'm gonna do my under eye concealer and set it. Going back in with the NARS concealer. And at this point with your concealer, you can help to kind of lift your eyeshadow and clean it up, clean up the edges. So I'm gonna set that concealer with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Honey. Again, I do not typically bake, but I just will sweep a little bit of that powder underneath just to lock it in. Also put a little bit of it in my T-zone. Just take away some of that shine. Now I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow again and do a little bit under my eye. So I'm actually gonna go in with a mix of this and this underneath my eye. Just to give the look a little bit more depth. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Sephora bronzer. Bring some color back into my cheeks. I'm 
also going to use a little bit to contour my nose. For my blush, I also picked up this Glow Wish from Huda Beauty in the color Charming Cherry. So this was so pretty. And when I tell you it is pigmented, it is pigmented. So let's see what we get from this. I like to put a little and build it up. deep like burgundy pinkish color is perfect for the holidays oh yeah see that's showing up very pretty on camera I love blush Okay, blush is just my favorite. Or eyes might be my favorite, who knows. Okay, so now we're just gonna give a little bit of highlight and then we'll get to play in our lip colors. I actually think I might do a little bit of liner underneath just to give the eye look a little bit more depth. So let's do that. I'm going to take my MAC um, Iridescent Loose Powder again for a highlight. And this stuff is super pigmented. a little on my nose the tip of my nose keep this bow and chin okay so that's it for cheeks so I'm going to go ahead and set this with my Benefit Professional Super Setter Spray. Okay, and then I'm going to apply my lashes offline. And I'm giving lashes because it's holiday, it's a special occasion. So I'm gonna take it up a little notch and then I'll come back and give you the final look. Okay, so I'm back with my final look. I mean, I'm loving it. I applied my lashes off camera and they are the Ardell Naked Lashes in 424. Um, I like them because they're wispy, but they're still very light and natural. Like I'm always for a natural look and I just love the wispy look of these lashes and how they just kind of took the look to the next level. I also applied a little bit of mascara on the lashes and on my bottom lash line and I feel like I'm ready for a holiday party. I also added some really fun, beautiful holiday accessories. So I added this black satin headband, which is just giving some height to my hair. And it's, I feel like a queen, like, 
them coming through. She's a queen. And then also these gorgeous um, drop earrings. You know, I love my drop earrings for a little glam added glam effect. Um, and I just feel like it's giving holiday, so I can't wait to get into these lip colors. Okay. So for a holiday vibe, um, it says that these are six cream lip stains in timeless must-have shades. Switch it up and go from bright red to powder pink, berry and nude for intense and ultra comfortable, long lasting matte colors your lips will thank you for. I'm excited. Okay, what should we do first? I think I'm gonna go from like the more neutral shades and then in with the bright red. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, red just screams holiday. Like you could wear anything to a holiday party with a red lip and you're giving holiday. So, okay. Let's start with this nudish color. It's like the most nude color. And I'm going to add um, a brown liner. I'm gonna add a <laughs> I'm gonna add a brown liner with this, and I'm just using NYX lip liner in dark brown. Okay. So who y'all pray for my lips during this? Cause it's saying that these are matte you know how matte lips can get so i'm just going to start with the brown liner because nude shades i always have to have a liner with Jones. Oh, okay, come through, Nina. What do y'all think? I think she's cute. It's a little light for my taste, but I feel like with the brown liner, it's not bad. I would have to probably put a little gloss on with it. Hmm, let's see it with the gloss. I'm gonna add Fenty Gloss Bomb on top. And this is just Fenty Glow. Let's see. Give it a little shimmer. Okay. Not bad. I like it. Okay, so that's the nude shade. Let's try a different one. Okay, so I feel like these two are sort of similar. So I'm not gonna try this one, but I am going to try this one because it's a little deeper. They all look kind of the same, but I'm gonna try this one. And this one I'm gonna try with a dark plum lip liner. The NYX Suede Lip Liner in the color Club Hopper. So this is like a dark plum shade. that dark plum with my eye look because remember we used that burgundy eyeshadow oh okay mauve mauvey mommy Ooh. i'm not mad at this either mm, she's giving pink yeah i like this what do y'all think? Because this is giving more of like neutral, almost like the color of my lip, but just elevated. I like this. Mm -hmm. This is a very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, cute. Next one. Next one, I'm gonna go for this burgundy shade. I think this is gonna look really good with our burgundy eye look and our cherry pink cheeks. That's gonna look cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this one again with Club Hopper, which is the dark plum liner. Ooh, Ooh that's 
that's rich. Mmm, I like that. Oh, she instantly gave. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. What's your fave so far? I think I'm loving this. I'm loving this so far. This might be my go-to holiday shade. Mm. Sexy can up. That's cute. <laughs> okay. So this is burgundy color. They're not labeled, y'all, so I, I'm so sorry, but burgundy. Pretty. Okay, and the next shade is this brick red color. So this is the deeper of the two reds. I think I'm gonna try this with a brown lip liner. think about this okay they just keep getting better mm. yes this is giving holiday oh I love this one mm-hmm this reminds me of boss lady by the lip bar it just has a good undertone that goes well with my skin I love this one pretty okay last one okay so for the last one which is this bright Christmassy red. I'm gonna line my lips with the brown. Okay. That's bright, bright. Oh, that's pretty too. Even cherry. Very pretty. Sephora, I'm loving all of these. Which one was your favorite, guys? Let me know in the comments. Just very like pin up. Oh, it matches my nails. Hi, I'm here for the holiday party. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this was so much fun, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. Let me know which lip color was your favorite. And let me know what your plans are for the holidays. Any parties? I have three holiday parties to go to in the next few days, so I'm definitely gonna take some of these tips. I think I will be wearing this brick red color to my holiday party at Top Golf, which I think is gonna be super fun. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Happy holidays!